What's up, humans? Welcome to a new Psicoactivo. I'm wearing a brand new cap that my wife got for me. So here's the cap of the day. We're doing, moving forward with a couple of things that I want to tell you guys about. And then we're doing the news for today, which is something that really pisses me off. Before we talk about that, I want to uh, let you guys know that I am pursuing a couple of interviews. One with uh, Dr. Rangel, who is the leading, I don't know if he's an immunologist, but I know he's a biologist who is dealing with the body's DNA. He's given me a little, a few nuggets on what he has found. And it is very interesting. I, I'm still not sure when we're going to talk. He told me that he would talk to me on Wednesday so we can schedule an interview. But I already prepared myself by talking to my wife, who is also a biologist. Uh, she's a molecular biologist and she's doing a PhD in nanoscience. So she's qualified to talk about this. In fact, a lot of my information that I have is thanks to her. So... You can thank her for that. Uh, I won't tell you who she is. Uh, that's one. The other one is uh, potentially nothing confirmed, but uh, I'm still trying to pursue Thierry Jamon, who I think it's very important that we talk to him and he can tell us, give us like his side of what's going on, right? Because I think there are many sides here. To be honest with you, uh, out of the people in Latin America who are dealing with this, Uh, and have been dealing with this for seven years, I do notice a little bit of a rift between some of the groups, and I want to find out what happened uh, to see if we can mend those uh, bridges, uh, build them back, and see if we can all work together, which is the goal. I'm conducting an effort alongside my friend Gonzalo Chavez and another couple of individuals, uh, Mr. Toby Martinez too, from Roswell Daily Record, shout out Toby, uh, we're trying to get together something that can help us uh, bring scientists who want to study the bodies over there to Peru, to Ica University and Incari Institute. We're trying to make an effort to both get, uh, get them support and potentially get samples or people in front of the bodies because way too many people who have never really touched a body or really investigated the real ones are talking uh, in public and saying all kinds of crazy stuff. So we need to get to the source. This is something that I learned in journalism. If you want to uh, convey the most original possible story that you want to do, you need to get to the source of the story, not regurgitate what others say, which is what most people do these days, especially with social media. So... This is something that I try to do in my day job every day because I work as a journalist. I write articles every day. So I'm just bringing what I learned from my 14 years of investigation and, and work and writing into the topic. And it's, I think it's working so far. You guys seem to like it. So I'm going to keep doing that. <laughs> um, in terms of the new interview with Dr. Piotti, uh, round two, I decided to leave English subtitles in it. So any of you who have already seen the, the video, the interview, you can go back uh, and just activate the English subtitles. I edited a lot of the words and changed them for the correct ones because some things cannot be still properly translated. But and generally, those subtitles are are great so uh just activate them on this video and you'll get them and we're good uh you guys can see what i spoke to dr piotti which is very interesting and especially the last hour i think we specifically talk about the bodies so you can hope for that as soon as you leave this video you can go and check that one out it's incredible in my opinion especially We talk about some science fiction-y stuff near the end that I, I, you can see my face that I'm really surprised because I still think that this is supposed to be science fiction, what Dr. Piotti is talking about. And well, I don't know. I don't know. He's an honest man. That's all I can tell you. And it's difficult 
that he would be telling me something he doesn't believe is true. Make of that what you will. If I hope we can keep uh, interacting for a while and he can continue his investigation because I think it's incomplete. I do think he found something incredible, but I also think that he needs to study more and see other aspects of the investigation so he can get to a better conclusion, a more rounded conclusion. So yeah, now on for the news of the day. Uh, about four hours ago, I was really excited because um, Google Books released what seemed to be a preview of Lou Elizondo's book, Imminent. Initially, I saw um, just like the chapters of the book, which are really interesting. And then I saw that there's a leak of almost 60 pages, which is a lot. And when I started reading on it, I... I felt like, I don't know, something was off, you know, because it's too much. I got to like five or six pages and then I, I just went back to social media to see if people were reacting to it. And, and there it was. Um, somebody leaked those 60 pages without Louis Lissando's consent. Um, people like Christian Harloff, who has been a film critic for uh, nearly two decades now, and I, that I've been a journalist and I've written about film for years will tell you that one of the things that we hate the most about the business is when leaks happen because you guys need to understand uh, in terms of in terms of movies uh, how many people do you imagine are part of these film productions that are massive like behemoths do you think those people who work their asses off for months if not years doing their part of the work for the movie do you think they will appreciate it if they see those leaks before time? I don't think they would. And it's the same thing with Lou Elizondo in his book. Uh, the guy set up a date and we need to respect that date. So in light of that and uh, out of respect for an author, I want to be an author someday and I wouldn't really wouldn't like that if it happened. So if it was uh, with his permission, then yeah, but no, dude. Uh, so... I encourage you guys, anybody who shared it or know that it was without Lou's permission. And I think we need to respect that and honor that just because he's an author, you know. I don't really care what you think about him. I don't really care. Uh, there's a lot of people who criticize him. Uh, if, I, if it was me, uh, I, I wouldn't really focus so much on what people say online. But there are some people who feel more affected by that than others. So I guess... I can understand it wow. Where, when they react to certain negative stuff. I I have reacted to some negative stuff, but I don't like to be confrontational or rude. I do like to call out people in, in a respectful manner because I think it's uh, in a friendly fashion, you know. You can tell someone, hey, that wasn't cool, man, you know. But I don't retort to uh, uh, ad homonyms or insults or name calling or anything. I don't like that. It's not my style. But uh, yeah, I think that uh, whatever you think about Lou Elizondo, I think that people should respect that he didn't allow for these leaks to happen. That's the bottom line. So in light of that, I'm not going to show anything. I'm just going to let you guys know what happened. Uh, granted, I'm not going to deny that the stuff I read was pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, it was a great tease. That's the reason I started feeling that like something was off because this felt real, you know. It really did feel like it was the book and it felt like I was getting stuff revealed beforehand. Stuff that is very important. So I'm not going to leave the link in the description or anything like that. Just to let you guys know, if, you, if you're an artist, you will understand this. So please respect Lou's wishes. And yeah, uh, I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. If you can watch that PLT interview with English subtitles, it's amazing in my opinion. So if you like, if you like uh, a, a really master class on human evolution and bones and he talks about the teeth, it's impressive. You guys should take a look at that. Uh, but yeah, don't share Lou's uh, book preview, please. Respect the guy. Wait. It's 28, 29 more days. It's, it's not that long, so come on. Respect it. If you like the content you see, please like, share, comment, subscribe. 
Uh, I'm going to leave a couple of links in the descriptions. So you guys can donate or support the channel in other ways. Everything is really appreciated. You guys have been fantastic. But what I love the most are the comments. Please keep them coming. I love them. Uh, I respond to the ones that I find, find more interesting. But every single comment that is positive, I always read it and like it because... Uh, positivity is what is going to bring us forward, in my opinion. So, yeah. I love you guys. Take care. Until tomorrow. Bye.